Jesus Christ is a living God. Thank you, Lord. Before I start to preach this gospel, I want to pray for everybody. The people are watching online. The people are hearing this word of God. I want to pray for everybody. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are walking here. People are walking in the city center. I bless them. Thank you for your keeping them in your God. Spiritually and physically, all the area, I bless them. During the time of sharing this word of God, thank you for your touching. Everybody's heart and raising up lots of revivalists from the city to the nation. Once again, more, I pray for each one of them in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, I want to ask to all the people people are walking here only one way can go to heaven. That is only in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to sing one song. By the way, after that, I want to preach the gospel to the people. The people are walking here. God bless you. After that, I want to preach the gospel to everybody. Thank you. 
I want to preach the powerful gospel to everybody that the people are walking here. Only one gospel. Everybody. 
to preach the gospel to everyone. I go to the Bible. The manifestation of Jesus Christ in this world, it was only for one purpose, to receive, to get everybody eternal life. Praise the Lord. Today I am standing in front of everybody. Do you see? Each one of you. That is, the eternal life is 100% free gift. Praise the Lord. So today, when I am preaching this gospel, only one way, all the people are working here. You can go to heaven through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The minimum way to go to the heaven, each and every people, you have to go again. is a minimum way. Whichever God has given to each one of you to go to the heaven. Born again, that means accepting and believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Those of John chapter 10. Bible says, Jesus Christ was saying to the Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and robber. The one who enters by the gate is a shepherd of the sheep. In this, Jesus Christ is saying to each and every people, Jesus Christ is a shepherd. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the shepherd. We all are the sheep. That means we have only one Savior that is called Jesus Christ. This is a good news today. I want to say to each one of you, The manifestation of Jesus Christ is a, to take you out from your sinful life to the glorious right of God. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Thank the Lord. 
Individually, our God knows you. This is a good news. Maybe your father and mother, your relatives, everybody, they will isolate you. But I got the Bible, only one reason. I want to encourage to all the people. The reason is Jesus Christ is a loving God. Jesus Christ can care, take care of your life. I Lord, only one God can take care of your life, that is Jesus Christ. I'm preaching 100% true gospel to everybody. No doubt in that. Bible says Jesus Christ knows you very well wherever you are working today. Whether you are living in this UK or Europe or Africa or Asian countries, our God knows very well whatever you are doing, what is your future, what is going to happen in your life today and tomorrow. Brother, this is the one hundred percent true gospel today. I am preaching to everybody. Praise the Lord. So today, come on. Bible says, Jesus Christ is a shepherd. Again, Bible says, Jesus Christ can call his sheep in his own name. Another thing. I go to the Bible. I want to say to all the people, the people are working here. Bible says, before the formation of the world, Jesus Christ has chosen your Heavenly Father, has chosen you through Jesus Christ. To do the good work in this world. What is the meaning of the good work? Right. Preach the gospel and throw in the salvation to the nations. Thank the Lord. This is what he called is a good work. In the Bible, I would like to say, one thing, all the people. I want to say one thing to all the people. Come with you. Only one purpose. Jesus Christ has appointed you in this world. Thank you, everybody. To preach the gospel to the nation.
I want to declare to each one of Jesus Christ is a powerful and mighty God. Come on. Will you give this word? Each and every day. Doing the extraordinary miracle to this world. Praise the Lord. Today, I want to ask to each one of the people working. Death and life of the God is kept before you. The heaven and hell, there is there. It is there in front of you. That means you can choose whatever you want. If you want salvation, definitely you have to vote again and accept this Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. I'm preaching. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Another thing Jesus can say. Even if Jesus Christ is a good servant, I want to say to all the people, the people are walking. Most of the people are thinking today, I have sickness, I don't have job, nobody is with me. But only one day, I can say to all the people, Jesus Christ knows everything, what is going on in the surrounding place of you. I want to ask, if you are having any prayer request, you can come to me. I can pray for you. When I am praying, God will heal you. No, no. God will heal you. Jesus, see, when I was preaching the gospel, he lived citizen, God was here. One of the sisters, she was sitting in the wheelchair. When I pray, the power of the Lord, it has moved to him, to her. The same time, she could receive the hill. Now she is no more sitting in the wheelchair. She could receive a perfect hill in her body. Why not? I am preaching the gospel. This gospel is still alive. 
the same thing. After the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. What did he say? Book of Acts, chapter 1 and 2. In the way to the Lord. Our God has sent His Spirit to the 120 people in their heart, in their mind. When they receive the power of the Holy Spirit, what happened? I made a phone call. Your both son will come here. are walking here. Take the city Sunday. Only one day. You can even to come out from your sinful life only for Jesus. Thank the Lord. Bible says the will of God I was talking about the book of Acts, chapter 1 and 2. When all the disciples went to receive the power from the Holy Spirit, what they did, they were witnessing this God to the nation. Come on. Come on. May the Lord. Look up Acts chapter 3. What happened? Look up Acts chapter 3. There was a crippled person from his mother's womb. He was sitting in the Jerusalem temple in front of the gate. He was asking to receive something in his hand from Apostle Peter and John. What happened? Apostle Peter and John said, Silver or gold, I do not have. I have only one thing. That is, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Healing heaven. Today, healing heaven. The person who was having the disability from his mother's home, from his birth desert. In the name of Jesus Christ, he could be able to receive the healing at the same time, in the name of Jesus. I'm not preaching about the statue, I'm preaching the living God. This God is still alive. 
May we are suffering today. Lots of sickness. Lots of disabilities. In your life. When I go to the Bible, only one way you can come out from your sinful life only to Jesus. To Jesus. Bible says, by the spirit of Jesus Christ, you all already received the healing and deliverance. Praise the Lord. All the people are walking here. Before I finish the session, I want to ask and encourage the people, those who are walking here, only one way to receive the healing in your mind, in your heart, in your body, only through Jesus. Praise the Lord. No any other way to receive the salvation under the heaven and earth. Only through Jesus. So, I want to say to all the people, the people are working here. Jesus Christ loves you so much. Jesus Christ can heal your sickness wherever you are suffering the sickness in your body. Jesus Christ can make you a great in the nation. Jesus Christ can be able to build your life, broken life. The wonderful good news I'm sharing to all the people. Your life is sacred in the hands of the law, not in the hands of the world. Old people are special people. But Jesus Christ is here forever and ever. His goodness and mercy, it will follow you all the days of your life. This is our prophecy. So all the people are watching you. Only one way, you can go to the heaven. Only one way, you are getting the salvation. Only one way, you are getting eternal life. That is through Jesus Christ. I want to sing one song. After that, I want to call his attention. Hallelujah. 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 Are you Lord God Almighty? Are Lord God Almighty? Thank you very much. 